sour than sweet, maybe? Yeah, and, and we're gonna pour it. And 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 we're, and we're also eating it in Arizona. <laughs> Always been the kind of girl that hid in my face So afraid to tell the world what I've got to say But I have this dream right inside of me I'm gonna let it show It's time to let you know To let you know This is real, this is me I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now Gonna let the light Okay, so the only thing you missed is we rested for a few hours and then we decided about 4.30 to go see the hole in the wall. And although I had a dead battery, three dead batteries, um, I instead used my phone to kind of film some things. It won't be as many and as good, but I'll insert them right now. Now we are back, as I said, and we are trying Whataburger for the first time. We lived in Texas for a few months, and that was the big thing in San Antonio. But I was pregnant with um, Isabella, and I was sick the entire pregnancy, and just the color orange and the thought of a burger made me throw up. So I never got to try Whataburger. But here in Arizona, they have Whataburger and In-N-Out best of both worlds. So I'm going to try my first Whataburger tonight. Wow, so first of all, this is really big. This is a Whataburger. So I'll take a bite and try it. So it looks like it has onions, tomatoes, ketchup. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it tastes more like a real grilled burger than like a McDonald's or Burger King or anything. I really like it because it kind of reminds me of In-N-Out where it seems like a more real burger. It's good. What do you guys think? Good. Fella, what do you think? They're watching uh, Mickey Mouse right now. It's good? That's a big burger for you. I could have had you and Brielle split it if I didn't know it was so big. Well, anyways, we're just gonna shower. I threw a load of laundry in, which is really nice to have. And um, we're just gonna shower and go to bed, so good night. That was the end of our first full day here in Arizona. We have sour yes, cupcakes! cereal. It's by <laughs> Post, and it's supposed to be sour than sweet, maybe? Yeah, and, and we're gonna pour it. And, 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 we're, and we're also eating it in Arizona. Yeah, in Arizona. And right. we also buy it from the store, and that's why it's new. Okay. Um, they kind of look kind of tiny. So they look like Sour yeah. Patch Kids? Yeah. Yeah, that's put some milk in it. And then scoop it up and then eat it in your mouth. They smell like sour patch. They look like I got no milk to put in our cereal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. How is it? It's sweet. It's sweet and sour cereal. Is it really sour and sweet? Yeah. No, sweet before we first eat and then sour. And then when you chew it up, it's sour? Okay. Yummy. Bella gives it a thumbs up. 
Brielle, thumbs up or thumbs down? Sideways? And Brando's sideways? Why? It's not bad, but it's not good. So with the Sour Patch Kids cereal, Bella gave it a thumbs up, but she likes sour things, right Bella? Brielle and Brandis gave it a sideways thumbs. That maybe they like it. Like it. Okay. All right, so what's going on? This is the art district. It's old historic Grand Avenue, or at least there's some artsy things here. So I wanted to show you guys what we're seeing. Don't pick those up though, honey, because you know what? Those are for decoration. I had them there for a reason, so just leave them there. We don't want to take them. There you go. What stuffed animals do you see? What did you say? And try it. I'm gonna try it. I bet Bella will like it because it's lemon. There are more in there. You can have some. Mm. They're so pretty, aren't they? Mm. All right, so we went into this place called Cha Cha Tea Lounge, and um, the person working there was making some shortbread cookies. So we tried some of the lemon shortbread, and they had. Um, Look like edible flowers. I think from the taste it was rose and lavender. But we tried those. I'm not sure how Bella's reacting. Now Bella has uh, severe allergies. Um, she's allergic to all nuts. And um, we found out the other day that I think she's allergic to kiwi too. So random things. A shortbread cookie usually would be fine for her. But she's saying her throat is starting to hurt. So I'm kind of watching for signs right now. Um, Anyways, but I don't, we have an EpiPen ready. We've never had to use it. I hope we never have to use it. I'll probably stop at Walgreens and get some more chew tablets just in case because that's kind of our first defense. But I think she'll be okay. We'll just watch it. Okay, woo, I should have brought my sunglasses. Um, so we survived that. We actually sat outside Banner Hospital for a while. Um, Bella just wasn't doing so well. She said her stomach hurt, she felt sick, um, nauseous, and it hurt. And her throat kept getting worse and worse. She said it hurt. But it wasn't enough to give her an EpiPen. There was no wheezing or anything. So I did sit outside the ER worried but um, gave her a cleared and chew tablet and she was okay. It took about 30 minutes, but she was fine. So now we came out to Peoria because this is where our goal was to go today. We had to skip other things like yoga and other. We're gonna tour the high school. One thing I have been thrown off about is I didn't think there'd be as much plush green soft grass as there is. And so we are waiting um, to look at a model home here. This 200s and now I see why because we're really in the middle of nowhere, but this is still Peoria. The two model homes. It's a little desk nook in the corner. We have the washer and dryer. Like a sitting area, so this must be able to convert. This is the walk-in shower. Bathroom. Double oh, yes, you're right. She's been saying. Looks like next door will be the Moonstone. I'm sure the yards look so amazing, knowing that it would cost the price of the house basically to make it look like this, but it's still beautiful. <laughs> I 
So we're gonna go up. Yes, look at this. Look how big this closet is. But I don't have that much clothes. I don't, I don't have that much clothes. I'm not a huge fashionista. So Lord knows I don't need a closet this big, but I'm sure I could always fill it. So here we are at the Arizona Phoenix Children's Museum. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.